What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. You can see we are on a sailboat. If you haven't seen the last episode, be sure to watch that before this one. This is day two of an epic adventure. We are traveling remote islands off of Panama and I'm using my Hawaiian sling. We got a free dive staff on Sailabi. We got Captain Cole, her first mate. We got Joey Antonelli. But I'm gonna link all their channels. Today is gonna be day two. We're gonna be diving a different area. We're gonna suit up, we're gonna hop in the little dinghy, and we're gonna punch out as far as we can get, weather pending, and we're gonna try to get on some fish. And then at the end, we're gonna do a really cool catch and cook. Stay tuned and enjoy this adventure. Bye, Jack. See you guys. <laughs> enjoy your trip. Have some uh, lunch ready when we get back. I would like a charcuterie board. Charcuterie. <laughs> charcuterie. I'm in Jack's way. You good? I know, very milky. White, white water. We gotta go this way today because it is rough as can be out there. Hey, don't forget that plug. All right, everyone, we got in the water, and like Joey said from the boat, it was definitely milky. Uh, we're in about 50 feet here, and whenever it's kind of milky, you have to make just sporadic, spontaneous drops. And this is probably my second drop of the day. I've only been in the water for about five minutes, and now you can see what I see is what the GoPro sees, and you can see the viz kind of clearing up a little bit the deeper I get. And that's usually the most cases when you're diving. And when I came down, I saw a hogfish, which I was stunned to see. So now when I shot it, I was contemplating for a second because we talked to some locals and they said they've never seen hogfish here or they've seen them twice in like the past 10 years. So I was contemplating shooting it, but it was a stud and I was like, you know what, why not? I'm in Panama, let's let it fly. And it, we just started diving. That's a good that hog. Hog's real. Woo! Animated hog fish, bro. Dude, that's a that's big a hog. Nice that's a big hog. That is so cool. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just down. I just did a blind drop. So cool. Yeah. Well, there's real fishy up this way. Right. Hey, everywhere. That's crazy. I saw. I was. I was contemplating not shooting it. Cause I was like, I, I don't know. I was like, should I shoot? I wouldn't believe you. I know. <laughs> and, and I knew if I went up, he'd, not, he'd be gone. Like if I went back down. That's a good one. Woo. So, do be quite honest, we were diving for probably about three or four hours and we didn't see a single shooter fish. We saw a couple mackerel cruising by, but we didn't see anything significant. So we hit the deeper stuff and even the more deep stuff and just saw nothing. So we came to the shallows thinking maybe there could be something up closer to shore. And we did find something, not anything huge and not even a fish, but we come up on some squid. And now trying to shoot squid with this Hawaiian sling is extra tough. And they're usually around the surface, so I'm bobbing up and down and you see one right there at the top of the screen. Now I'm kind of lining up, don't want to poke my spear at him, but I draw back. He's kind of zipping forward and backwards and I just missed him. I kind of cut my loss with that guy. I had a feeling there were gonna be more around and sure enough, here comes a whole little pod of them. And now I shot and missed, that was so close. And I actually reload, and that's one thing I love about the Hawaiian sling. I don't even need to look down when I'm loading. I'll just go pick up the spear, keep my eyes on the fish, or in this case, the squid, and I can reload that spear without even looking. And I can shoot, see how quickly I already reloaded, took another shot, missed. And that's one thing I really suggest if you're learning to spear, use a primitive weapon whether it's a pull spear or a hawaiian sling because you can reload them fast they're not complicated and they're not as dangerous as a spear gun uh so 
Third time's a charm here. Line up. And I think maybe the top down shot is what helped me out a little bit. Um, I've been successful with those shots. And you can see I lace this guy. And then in a second here, you're going to see how I brain these dudes. Yeah, they're tough. I got one. So now from my experience, um, you brain them right between the eyes, just pinch down on your knife and stick it right in and you'll just see them instantly change color. You can see he kind of went limp. I give, I brain them again a little bit just because I still see color. Normally they go completely ghost white. So that led me to believe that he wasn't fully dead and it doesn't hurt to check. I you know, kind of feel bad killing these things because they're so cute. And once I head to the boat, I just sit there and pump it like a stress ball and just get all the ink out of it. All right, we're taking a break from diving. Gonna do a little island exploring. There's a new little tiny island. Has a lot of coconuts, and we're gonna try to get some coconuts. I might spear one. Actually, definitely gonna spear one. This is pretty. Make sure that you stand right under. Yeah, so it comes straight back at me. I think you can find that one. Yeah. Here, from, uh, from this angle. All right, Hawaiian sling. Doing Hawaiian sling thing. <laughs> Did you miss? Oh, shoot. Oh, you got it. I did get it. Now I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull it down. Crap. <laughs> Now you gotta climb the tree anyway. I'm gonna, I might have to climb the tree. Oh! Nice. Yeah! Woo! Now I have to, oh god, look how screwed that thing went. Wow. I barely even pulled it back. Here we go. <laughs> Multi purpose single line sling, baby. Alright, now I have to push it through somehow. There you go. There you go. Empty. Success. Really impressive. I think I shot and I missed the the nut. The nut. Which is thank goodness. Yeah. Dude, I actually had perfect aim. Oh here we go. Got it down. There you go. Did you just smell it? Yeah, I just smell it. <laughs> I need to go a little more. Yeah. Dude, that's good. Yeah? That's really good. It's just messy. That's awesome. Look at that. We don't like coconut water. Yum. Oh, dude, it's Yum. good. And it has actual coconut. Yeah, yeah. Like it's thick. It's already developed. This is a mature one. You want to try some? Yeah. Here, give it a shot. Oh, wow. It's super sweet. Really sweet. Oh, so good. You got husk all over your nose. <laughs> so <laughs> this is it? good. Dude, so worth that it. That was awesome. Good job. Good job. <laughs> nice. That's really good. All right, I'm going to bring this to the guys. Crack, yeah. I was going to say crack it all the way open. Oh, nice. Try, try some. It's so sweet. <laughs> Bullseye, huh? Here, try some of that. I might get some, might get some pull. <laughs> did you? Oh, did you? Trying to have a, I hit it on my Are you trying to get some meat? Yeah. I'm gonna crack the whole thing. Look at the size of that meat from I'll inside that coconut. I just like dumping, dumping pieces into my hand. You look like you're in Jurassic Park right now. <laughs> I'm waiting for a dinosaur is, to come out. It is what it looks look like. Look at this. Look at this Do you plate. love being barefoot here too? Kind of sketchy. Mm -hmm. But you gotta think, like, there's probably not anything here no. because these islands are covered with salt water. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's no, like, oh God. there's no, I don't think there's any mammals. No we need to open it and eat all of it. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. No. This is a foraging mission. Out right 
That tree right there. So the next one over. Joy, what do you think? I think it's a lot easier to eat coconut than shoot fish. <laughs> I like it. Today it is. This is gonna be a special on like gathering rather than hunting. Forging yeah. and gathering. Oh, look at that. You got there, you never guess how rough it is. Yeah, I got the knife out. Yeah, it's rough. This okay, is right, supposed yeah. to be flat. It's a big turtle straight off. Yeah. See turtle? Yeah, just go to the corner. Look at that nugget. Ooh. This is exactly what you need after diving. After diving and not getting anything. We got coconuts. <laughs> Sorry about your thumb. <laughs> Sacrifices had to be made. Again. Yeah. For like the third time. <laughs> Side to get a video and then you can take over. Oh, we're down over there. Meat I'm looks like hung meat. I'm gonna go through it. Oh, tink toe pain. Where's the, uh, where's the fillet knife at? The white fillet knife? Did you grab it? It wasn't there. That's where I put it, too. Did you? Yeah. I doubt it. Maybe, uh, did... Did Cole grab it? Use it for cutting something? Is he recovering? I'm going to sit on the back. All full of row. So it's a female. I know, it kind of looks like a male too. It, yeah. it had the snout. It has the potential. It was a male that turned into a female dating a female. Yeah. It sounds familiar, right? That was a female hog. No, we're not sure where the white one went, but I can give you guys this one. That's all right. Should do a dive down before we no? move our anchor. I think we're all good. There's a piece of squid. All right, Joey's doing the filleting of the hog, and I just finished the squid. What I did is I cut off the tentacles. That's for the dogs, we're not wasting it. Oh yeah, no, we're not wasting any bit. I told you to take I your time. I actually do that on purpose. Take your time. I do that on purpose for Zeke. I, I mean, told you, uh, dude, take your time, man. Uh, we only got one hog. And then, so, the squid, I cut off the tentacles, just one big swoop cut, and then I just chopped the head off, ran the knife inside of it, and you peel the layer on the outside back and then you just turn it inside out, clean the whole thing, and you got this rubber texture kind of stuff, and you just dice it into little, look at that, it's cool, you see that? That's it, cleaned up, ready to rock and roll. It smells good. That's not the smells best like part. It's ready. Where's the best part? Best part is right here, these. I just think they're fun to The eat. tentacles are Amazing. They still they're still sticking to my hand. They still see they're sticking. But that is the juicy, the juicy, juicy part. I'm gonna go in and throw that in there. Nice salt water. And I'm gonna do some dive in here. I'm gonna I think we may have dropped a fillet knife. Yeah, Finn. Yeah. Finn, come here. Oh look what he got. Oh came in hot. He was hungry. He was hungry. Cole, I hurt myself. I hurt myself. It's probably worse than yours. It's definitely worse than your your injury. It's like a funny little injury. Dude, we, we both starting to work now though. We both have stupid injuries. Uh, so now it's Joey and Steph's turn. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get in the water. I'm gonna try to see if I can find that fillet knife. Did, do you know what happened to it? No, last time I saw it was in the street. I put I it in there. I put it in there. So it's probably down there. I'm gonna go take a look. I'm gonna dive. Zeke, Zeke was You yeah. can stop it. Alright. So Jack's gonna find the knife but he's gonna breathe up on this, and when he hits the water, that's it, no more breathing. Diving in and finding it. All right. I wanna see like a super awkward, <laughs> hit the water and go down dot. All right, it's gonna happen. 
And it's not super shallow here, so people that are thinking it's in like six foot of water, it's not. Don't come up until you have a knife. It's not coming up. Oh, I gotta show you guys what I see. There you go. You guys get double perspective on the knife hunt. All right, we only got 13 minutes left of footage on here. There he goes. That is some milky water. There you go. We're stuck straight in the dirt. <laughs> Good, it was directly under us. Let me see. That's the fill out. Yeah. Actually, never mind. I was just gonna throw it back in, but I'm not gonna do that because we've been doing some deep dives. <laughs> <Go get it. laughs> All right, we're bringing the fish ashore. Stuff going with Finn. Let's see if they'll cook it up. Yeah. Get, it, get some of that local cuisine with uh, us providing the fish. All right, we did it. We made it. Is that a friend fish? Uh, what do they have? I don't know. Uh, surprises, maybe? <laughs> surprise? No, say in Spanish. Surprise. 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 Okay, sorry. Yeah. Solamente cuatro personas y pescado y dos tres más. Okay, sorry. Está bien? A las seis, seis y media? Está bien. Yeah? Okay. Muchas gracias. Este es a snapper. Here we go. Cool. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. We did it. Mm -hmm. They're cool? Yeah. All right, so. so in my Success. broken Spanish. Successful. <laughs> Don't judge. Don't judge. If you speak Spanish, I'm trying my best. That was good. Thanks. That was way better than I can do. <laughs> she like looked at me or you looked at me and I'm like, <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I need to do a better job of speaking Spanish. All right, before our main dinner, we're going to do an appetizer. I see it. Just some seasoned flowered calamari. We got the oil hot. We just Spread some uh, plantains and let's see. Mm. What do you think, guys? Should we have done Joey's version of Fruity Pebble cal Calamari? Crunch up some Fruity Pebbles? That would be just. Everyone on my channel knows I can't cook. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that go. We're not gonna overcook it, and we'll see you guys during the taste test. All right, time to dig in. Grab a non tentacle part. It's hot. It looks like a tentacle. That's good. Yeah. I tried to tear it, but I was like, no, nah, I'm just doing the whole thing in my mouth. 
That's what she said. <laughs> wow, it's nice. Joey's first time. Oh, he went straight tentacles. That's the best part. First time with fresh calamari. Yeah. Very good. good. Yeah. It's different than the store for sure. Way better than the bait shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's just full of them today. Very yummy, guys. Yeah. Thanks for catching the squid. Oh, yeah. Delicious. So worth it. All right, we're gonna see you guys up on the beach whenever. We'll see what the uh, locals cooked up with that hogfish. Yeah, All right, here we go. We on. just got to shore. Had to go back for the rod. Oh, I see. I see him out there. The yeah. Joey's gonna show us how it's done. Careful, right up again. Oh, I said the hook way too. Oh, high. there it is. Joey got him. We got something on there. Keep it high. Keep him out of the rock. Jackie Chan. He pull, no, you're good. He's shaking a lot. He's shaking like crazy. That's like feel more like a regular jack shake. <laughs> no, we're just, no, we're just having fun. We already caught our fish for the day. I think snapper. Little dog snapper. I think mine could have been a dog. Because how it was like down. Look, Vinny even caught something. <laughs> Vinny, what'd you get? Sardine. What'd you get? I guess it's cool, but I could have. Uh, I don't know. It feels more like Jack. I think you need to get in the water with it like a tarpon. Like a snook. Finn, leave it. Jackie. Jack. Jackie Chan. Finn. Hey, you're snagged him. Shit. You got it. That's the ball. Wow. There he is. Nice little jack. That's good. That's what we got. He's, I think he's jock. He's <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like we got some fish curry. Locally made. Locally sourced. Some mango. Oh, looks good. Look at that. Well, the hogfish is from the Bahamas. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I checked that. I checked the hogfish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, more fish than this. <laughs> I think this is it. Wow. That's good. What do you think? It's really nice. It's really good. That's really good. Like, the flavor is so nice. Definitely hogfish, though, too. Mm -hmm. so I was worried. I was a little worried. Mm -hmm. We are going to get barracuda. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I'm going to dig into this. If you haven't seen episode one of this trip, mm -hmm. click up in the corner. It is a banger. We got into way more fish, uh, but the conditions were a lot more doable. But if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment below. And like always, I'll see you next guys. See you next guys next week. I'll see you guys next week for another adventure. Later.